I'm a queen, I'm a star, star. Black African diva bizarre, star. A swimming with shining like stars, star from the bottom and rise from the top. You're wonderful, loving and strong. Nothing is stronger than a woman's worth. My name is Martha Chumo, though these days I go by Jerry Chelimo. I'm currently a full-time student at Minerva Schools at PGI. I'm full of energy, nerdy, extroverted uh, most of the times. Um, trying to be bigger than who I am now. So super ambitious woman. I first um, came across a Kilidada nine years ago. I'm one of the old kids because we couldn't afford um, to go to Kenya High. My mom could not afford to pay for it. She saw an ad in the library about kids who had gotten above 430. I had, so she told me to apply, and that's where the journey started. So my experience with, with Akilidada has had so many different phases because the program is not just a high school scholarship. Then it evolved by the time that I was in Form 3 to, you know, leadership trainings. So we had all these leadership academies. Um, I was getting out more. I was um, though investing more in my skills as a leader. The second phase was really thinking about impact, thinking about the community that I live in and the role that I play. Um, as soon as I finished high school, I was an intern at the Little Hazina Towers office. I think I was lucky being one of the few interns to work in such a small, intimate office and play such a key role at Akilidada at that point. So I saved up some of the money. Uh, then after that, while I was an intern, I got really interested in how computers work. It was the first time I had a computer to myself, which was really exciting. I came across this whole world of programming, which was very different from the path that I had taken. I did like all the coding courses I could get online and from being an intern I transitioned straight to working um, as a web developer. I really believed in coding and teaching young people in Africa. So I started running classes in Kenya, um, soon I got the attention of the UN and through UNESCO I started running some classes in South Sudan which was really interesting to go to Juba in the middle of their civil war um, and try to work around that, get resources together and start running programs. I saw it as an opportunity to bring together all the things that I'd learned from Akilidada. From leadership, I was the CEO of a team at 19, to social change, I was looking at how technology can help develop Africa and the role that it's played developing other cities and other countries. Um, and that was an amazing opportunity. The world was excited about it, I think. I was featured in CNN and BBC and Al Jazeera, you know, traveled around the world, nominated for an Anzisha Prize. And after three years of globetrotting and you know, being nominated for all these awards, I, around this time, I came across Minerva. They emailed me, you know, cold email, and like, you know, looked at your story. We think you're amazing for our program. Is this new uni coming up? Um, for people like me. I applied and got in, got a full scholarship in the uni, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm in this process of transitioning from, you know, crazy entrepreneur, just doing things, wanting to expand all over the continent, to really passionate woman who cares a lot about Africa. At 22, most of the leadership skills um, that I have, I'd say I got directly from Akilidada. I try to learn new skills every day because they gave me the understanding that I'm a wholesome person. For most scholarship programs, they are so obsessed with your grades. Um, all you do is, you know, get new tutoring programs, you know, do better in your grades. But none of our leadership academy had anything to do with KCSC. And I feel this leadership training has made us grow into self-motivated people, very disciplined people. So we don't need that extra push of, you know, doing tuition and being pushed in life. Um, but you're actually able to push yourself because you understand how much you're capable of. As a young African woman, Akilidada is to me, you know, the utopia of growing up and flourishing and becoming the best that I can be. But the difference between, you know, other utopic worlds and Akilidada is it teaches you that this is not reality, though we are working to create this reality. So we're going to live it and we are going to create it through our values and by growing our community, which is a rare thing to get. <laughs>